All right, we're pleased to be joined today by one of Purdue's class of 2021 commitments, Marcus Bowe of Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. Went to East High School and Wauwatosa is a suburb of Milwaukee. For those of you who don't know, I didn't know, I kind of, I figured it was, but uh, Marcus, I appreciate you taking some time with us today, buddy. For sure, thank you for having me. Hey, first things first, I watched some video of you over the winter. You're a heck of a basketball player. I appreciate that. Yeah, I take pride in my uh, game on the court. Who can, who, who can guard a six foot five, 200 pound guy like you? I mean, you got to dominate on the court, don't you? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, real quick, you back to high school in particular. I'm always curious as the, the competition you faced. Did you play, was, was your school a big school? Did you play at the highest level as far as enrollment goes in Wisconsin? What was your competition like there? Uh, yeah, we are Division One, so that is the highest you can get okay. based off enrollment. Uh, our team wasn't necessarily the best team, you know, in the past. We're making a comeback with a new coach recently on the football team, but uh, otherwise, the competition that we faced all year in football and basketball was insane. Okay. We're what in the best. Of, what, type of, what type of season did you have football? Did you get to play many games? No, we didn't get to play that many. I think we only got four or five in before they canceled our last game in the playoffs. Um, otherwise, usually we would have played like seven or eight. Okay. But we had a shortened season because of COVID. I got gotcha. you. And then where did you play this last year? What, what, what were your positions? I played both tackles. Okay. How was your season? I played, uh, I played defensive tackle and end as well. Okay. What type of season did you have? Were you pleased with how you played? Yeah, I was. I was uh, really pleased on with how I played. I felt like I made, you know, great improvements from last year, physically and mentally, you know, learning the game and stuff like that and being a leader and, you know, helping my teammates get better as well. <clears throat> Why Purdue? The, the connection that I have with the coaching staff has been really good. I mean, I've known them for a very long time. They were my third scholarship offer back in January of last year. So I've gotten a chance, you know, talk to a lot of players, a lot of coaches, get to know them. The location is, you know, real close to home. Big Ten football, you know, great education. What was it like getting recruited during the pandemic when you couldn't make official visits? Talk about talk about some of the obstacles with that. It was It was really hard. It was really hard and frustrating and, you know, a lot of people think, you know, oh, you got scholarships, recruiting, you know, it's all fun. But at the end, you know, it's not, you know, it's great. But at the same time, it's not as fun as you think when you have, you know, different schools trying to set up Zoom meetings with you every other day. It's kind of, you know, it gets to you. It's a lot. Of, it's really tiring, you know. And it's, the fact that it's over the Internet makes it even worse. Have you, have you, have you been to Purdue? Yeah, I, uh, Purdue is actually like the only school that I went to go visit on my own. Okay. Because, you know, I didn't, all the other places were a little bit farther and Purdue was closer. Yeah. Where do you think you'll play at Purdue? You're going to be a tackle, a guard? How do you think you'll fit in there? I think, I think I'm going to be a tackle. Me and Coach Williams discussed and he said he'd like to have me at tackle, but he said whatever would get me on the field the quickest is where he'll put me. So I'm, I'm fine playing whatever. What, what, what if, if you were to describe your style? on the field um how would you how, how would you describe yourself as, as a player oh uh, i'd like to describe myself as a role model and a leader for other people i also like to describe myself as very athletic and you know got a little bit of an attitude behind them in a good way of course what's your strength what do you bet i would say i would wait what'd you say what is your strength what do you think you do best on the field one block oh, okay. pass block I would say I would say pass block because of my footwork and my athleticism. I also like getting in the open field and blocking a lot. That's probably one of my favorite things and one of the best things I'm at, just because you know how faster, how much faster I am than most, and my athleticism and footwork. What do you need to improve? Uh, I would I would think I'd have to improve on you know my overall knowledge of the game because I'm still kind of new to it. I'm still trying to learn. You know, things like hand placement, strength, things that can all be fixed at the next level. 
So how long, how long have you been playing football? I've been playing football since high school started, but I never took it seriously until okay. my junior year because before our uh, new head coach came in, it was our football team was a joke. I mean, nobody cared. You know, they didn't have us in the weight room. I was more of a basketball player. I didn't even think of football as, you know, something I enjoyed. So what made you dial in and start taking it serious? Uh, when I realized, when our new head coach came in, I realized, you know, the opportunities that I had in front of me. Uh, I realized I wasn't a basketball player at, you know, 6'5", 285 at the time. And my coach realized that. And as soon as I, you know, started actually learning about how to play real football, kind of, you know, just took off. Any idea what you want to study? Uh, no, I've been I've been trying to figure that out. I set up my classes already, and I think I'm just going to go in, you know, undecided and have, you know, the people help me and try and figure out what I, I'm best at, what would be the best for me. Is there anything else, Marcus, you want to share with fans about yourself? Any any good personal stories or or secret talents in you that, that you possess that few know about? <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily, but uh, I just want to let everybody know that, you know, I'm going to work the hardest to be the best player I can be. And you're not going to get a harder worker than me. And I just want to be great more than everybody else. Excellent. And I can't wait to get there. Yeah, you seem like a very impressive young man. And I look forward to meeting you at some point. And, and we appreciate you sharing some of your time. We know you're busy, Marcus. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. All righty.